your boy Mike the Philosopher. I got Black, known as Marlon. I got IB in the building. And welcome to Black Man Rankings. Okay, the topic of today is Nick Cannon. He having all these babies, y'all. You know, some say he shouldn't. Some say he's he well within his rights. What say you? Let's start with you, Ski. Give me your number three first. Run it. My number three? Yeah, your number three. Nick Cannon? Yeah. My number what, three what? Your number three, what's, whatever your answer is. First, tell me what your answer. Do you Do you think he should or he shouldn't be doing what he's doing out in these streets? No, he should, he should not be doing what he's doing. Okay. It's, 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 <clears throat> no, okay. He, he should not be doing what he's doing at all. Okay. Give me, give me, give me three reasons why. Well, one reason is, you know, <laughs> we're supposed to be doing that. You know, if you lay down with a woman, you know, it's supposed to be for marriage. You know, that's that's one of the reasons. Right. The other reason is if you're gonna, if you're going to be there um, to lay down with her, you're going to have to be there for them children as well. Um, the third reason is, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's 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 just niggas. I don't know. He's he got problems. You know, the boy. You know, he grew up in that in that in that problem. You know, he was a young kid. He don't really know nothing. You know, he just got money, so he don't he don't know nothing. Right, right. He just he just having fun. Really, that's all he's doing. Right, right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's number two. That's the second reason. But they going they going put the the spotlight on on. Like I said on Nick Cannon, you know that that he don't know nothing at all. It's it's a lot of others out there, just as you know, um, just as well as Nick Cannon, like like Flavor Flavor, <laughs> Flavor Flavor. Don't he got a bunch of kids? He ain't you know dirty old dirty bastard. You know it's a bunch of them, them basketball players. All right. of them doing they they all doing the same thing really. Right, ain't right. New, you know, but it's wrong. At the end of the day, yes, it's just, they wrong for that, but. Facts, facts. Okay. okay. I got you. All right. Uh, Black, yay or nay on it, man? What do you think? It's absolute nay. He should not be all out here shooting dice with his dick. Right. He should, he should not be out here making babies and ain't providing. Well, first off, I disagree with him, like, you know, just making kids and not not being committed to the mother because, for one, it provides, it promotes a dysfunctional household in every sense of the word. When, a, when the male is not there and he's committed to that mother, then boom, that's going to, that's going to uh, fragmentize the cohesiveness of the family. So the kids is going to pick that habit up when they get older, that this is a thriving household for the father to not be in the house. This was the example that he set. So that's, that's two. And three, you know, most importantly, he going against my own personal understanding and belief that if you lay with a woman, you're supposed to wife her. So he can't, he ain't married to all of them. So right, right. basically just throwing his dick around, you know, impregnating all these women. And, you know, he ain't, he ain't committed to none of them. So that's against the laws that, that I subscribe to. Got so, you, got you. That's me. All right. Well, I'm a I'm a run mine, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yes. Okay. I I think it's I think it's okay. And and let me tell you, let me tell you why. These are my three reasons why. Number one, or or I should say number three, he can afford it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. He 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 got the money to take care of these kids, set them up for life. He's a he's a well established man. To the riches go to the spoils, so to mu pretty much, 
Um, you know, and it's not like these ladies don't want to participate in it. And I think a lot of them are clout chasing, but at the same time, uh, you know, this is uh, something that he wants. He he said he wants a lot of kids. He he ain't stopping. He said he's going to be celibate for the rest of this year, but but um, but you know he can afford it. So you know he he set everyone up with a million dollar trust fund. He could he could afford that, and you know um, and that's that. Number two, you know. Um, <sighs> You know, I'm always for um, us having babies, us uh, populating the planet more. I think if our numbers were up in countries like uh, the U.S., um, I think we would be in a better situation. I'm all for babies being born. Um, you know, our numbers tend to slip. And then next thing you know, we got other groups passing us up. Uh, you know, and, and getting political favor because their numbers are better than ours. And they don't, you know, they it, it just is what it is. So I, I'm all for getting our numbers up. Um, I'm pretty solid on that. Um, and the number one reason is, and I don't know if y'all uh, thought about this, but Nick is, um, Nick has been faced with mortality. All right. This this brother has been uh, he's been going through some things. Uh, I forgot what his ailment is, uh, but he has an ailment. You got sickle cell, don't he? No, and it's, it's not sickle cell, but it's uh, it's something else. And he's been he, he's been sick for a long time. So if you if you are faced with your mortality. Right. And you want to leave a, a, a imprint on the world, you're going to try to replicate yourself as many times as possible. And it's easy for people who not face with their uh, mortality to say, oh, well, he shouldn't be doing this. He should do it the right way, this, that, and the third. But if you are faced with your mortality, you're going you're gonna to look at things a lot different. Like, look, I ain't got a, a lot of time. I, I, I want to, you know, spread my seed. I've done all, I've done what I could do in the industry. I've made a lot of money. The only thing left is my genetic le legacy because everything else is cemented. So uh, let me, let me try to do it this way. And not only that, but he loved kids. He, he actually absolutely loved kids. So, you know, he kind of see himself in a lot of the kids, you know, he always got that kid personality anyway uh you know he was on nickelodeon so so kids is in the the brother's blood so he you know he got the kids with mariah he just fell in love with kids since he had the kids Mar with mariah and couple that with him being faced with his mortality and the brother's like look i'm gonna spread my seed you know so for those reasons you know, I, I, I think he, I, I don't have no problem with it. Um, shoot, I, I want some more kids. So, so I know how it is. And that's what I had just said. You know, he got a lot of money. You know, he didn't know nothing. He don't know. He don't know shit. You know, he just, he was, he was a dumb, dumb young kid and coming up. So therefore, yeah, he's just having fun. So Nick Cannon ain't the only one doing this though. No, he's not. You know, he's you not. see that? He's not the only one. It's a lot of brothers doing it. A lot. Why is Nick Cannon in the spotlight? Because yeah, he's having problems. Not long as he having some, yeah, some some physical problems or mental problems or whatever. Yeah, he's having problems with some people too that he's dealing with. So now he's in the they want to talk about um about all of the babies he's having, but it's dead wrong. You know, I, I know that, you know. What the scripture said, those that finds a wife finds a good thing. So he got to do it. Who are these women he having babies by anyway? Uh, you know, it's, women, Instagram right? chicks. They got to the they gotta, they gotta, they gotta agree to, to, to lie down with them as well, too. Exactly. A number exactly. of women. They, so they, who are these women? I, I, hey, you got me up loud in your you know, mic, man. They're they hey, just doing it for some money. They, it's all about money at the end of the day, huh? 
Hey, Ski, turn, that. turn your mic down a little bit, man. You got me, you got me echoing, I think, in your background. I don't know what's going on with that. But that's not uh, a mic that got you echoing. <laughs> well, it's feedback. It's feedback, is what I'm saying. But I, I, I think it's good now, wherever it's at. But yeah, he uh yeah, you're right. These these ladies uh they agreed to lay down with him. You know what I mean? It ain't no, it really ain't no victims in this uh situation. That's why I'm okay with it. You know, they there is some victims though. There is some is victims. The kids? victims you think of the kids? Kids. Yeah, because well, even because just because you face with your own mortality, yeah, hey, listen, man, we all face with our own mortality every day. We we black men. Every time we walk outside, we face with our mortality. So I mean, we're gonna go there with it, you know. So I mean, just because you have an ailment, you probably, you know, for all intents and purposes, I see him on Instagram flexing, he working out, he getting healthy, you know, his mortality ain't, he ain't on the thin rope with it. So, I mean, he's just being reckless. I don't want to make no excuses or coddle the idea that it's okay for him to just go over and spread his seed all over the city, all over the world, and just, you know, it's okay because he might die one day. Well, we all might die one day. But yeah. you still want to be responsible with, with the seeds that you are, you know, making here and you want to provide a stable household because it don't make no difference if black people's numbers is up and we dysfunctional as hell. If if all of our kids is is waking up and they ain't got no stability, no 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 male figure in the house on a steady basis, and they going out here and looking for the streets to raise them, man, that ain't cool for nobody on no level. But but, but black, let his, me say his, this: his even his father, his father was a was an OG blood. In real life, he was a street dude in real life. Right. Nick Cannon. So Nick Cannon saw some stuff he probably shouldn't have saw, but his pops kept him away from the streets on purpose. He All still right. run with that crew to this day, though. Nick Cannon do. Nick All Cannon right, but, run with a with a with an action. All right, but let me let me say dude, this though. Right let me now. say this though. Yeah, uh look, he he do have he, he do he are, he is making these kids. But the thing is, man, he is, he is the red team on Wilding Out, ain't he? What? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I guess that's the the blood, whatever you're talking about. But the point is, man, the the brother he can afford it. Um, he's giving them life, man. He's giving them life. He's yeah, like, like, yeah, but he he's giving them life, and he's not. It, it's not like he's not. These kids are not going to be set up for success. You could do everything right. You could get married. You can you can try to raise your kids and you still break up with your girl and she's still with some other dude. You see what I'm saying? So you can do everything right, but doing everything right ain't, ain't always promised. Uh, you know, a, a healthy uh, upbringing by the by the kids, man. Because you could do it all right, and and some of these chicks are bounce anyway. So so. He's just he's just skipping the whole preliminary part of it, and just because he ain't got time like that, at least he feel like he ain't got time like that, and and that's why he's he's just doing it this way. It's a or, unorthodox method, I get it, but uh, you know, <laughs> you know why why waste time in all these relationships when they probably gonna end anyway? I mean, you know, he got divorced from Mariah, so. You know, he's probably feeling like uh, the whole fairy tale thing is is a waste of time. Let me just get my seeds because at the end of the day, can't nobody take that away from me. But, but uh, so that's how I feel about it. But anyway, we're running out of time here. Anybody else want to say something real quick? You got about thirty seconds. Yeah, I disagree with it. I right, think, right. I think once you get with your lady, you lay down. You create a family, you create a stable household. I think that's the most most revolutionary thing black men can do is to stick with one woman and raise their own family to be conscious, strong, fear God, you know, so, and stable. Right. So thumbs down. B uh thumbs IB. Down. Thumbs down, Ski. Uh he must be on mute or he put himself on mute. Um, but I give it a thumbs up. No, I, I give it, I give a thumbs down for the um, making the babies out of wedlock. You know, the uh, out here with money, just throwing money around and just having 
unprotected sex with women that they know they're not going to be with. They can just throw them some money at the end of the day. Some of them pay, some of them pay though, pay the price because they find out they got to pay a lot of money that they, they really don't have at the end of the day. Then it all does right. create a problem. Like they, they right. kind of having all problems right. itself already. All and, right. And, and all right. Don't, hey, Ski, we're running out of time. But hey, everybody, click okay. on the like button. That money don't last too long. Click you on the like them celebrities themselves. Click on the like button, subscribe, check out some more BMR, and we out. Peace. Just different. Welcome, welcome back. This is your boy, Mike the Philosopher, along with a steam panel, Black Mellow and IB Ski. And this topic here is about the jab. Y'all know what we're talking about, the jab. Okay, and you know there's controversy, especially uh, with us, you know, uh, people of our hue, whether or not we should get it. Ski, I'm gonna start with you on this one. Uh, I, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna start with Black. Black, you run it. Let me get uh, your top three reasons, yay or nay. Yeah, I'm nay. I'm nay off off the rip. I do not believe we should get it. I know. Uh, based off some research that I was that I had done, that I know this this uh, this jab was prepared before the actual uh, situation of hysteria was created. So I had known this was coming for years now, that it was going to mm. be some type of jab that was going to have to take place in order to usher in some other things that's coming right after this. So I was already prepared to say no years ago when it happened. And now here we are, it's happening. Plus it has a 98% success rate of survival if the person finds themselves in that situation. If they're in a situation and they ain't feeling good, and all that, then typically people want you to get that jab. But it's a 98% success rate that you'll survive it without it. And your antibodies is stronger than the actual jab is. So if you take the jab after your situation and you're feeling sick, if you take the jab, then you're going to wipe out your strongest allies which is your antibodies that's nat that's built up naturally so your natural immunity will be wiped out if you do take the jab so okay. for those reasons i totally disagree with with panicking and jumping off the front porch and jumping out the window as far as being scared enough to pump poison into your veins in the name of health got you I disagree got you with that wholeheartedly okay got you ski uh yeah. run you run your list what do you think nay off top nay um it's kind of it's kind of funny that we we're talking about a uh subject so sensitive as the jab because <laughs> we just got to talking about nick cannon you know when he was on this cast he was talking about something sensitive as who the people were true people of this earth anyway so with that being said no the jab is not it's not intended for us. <laughs> Dig that. This, this, that's just something by design. And I can go off experience because one day when I was at the um at, at one of the facilities, um, you know, where people go in and, and and get and get checked because they don't know what's going on with them. This man came in. He said he had took the jab. I had took the jab Monday. I think it was. I don't know what day it was. I think it was Friday. You know, but he said I took the jab Monday. He told her his, his name. Yeah, I took the jab, and um, it's been all downhill ever since. <laughs> I was like, I was uh -huh. like, whoa, you know, just like, yeah, that's that's just one. I've seen a lot of uh, reports and articles, and this one football player, you can look it up, you know, Google it, you know, he can't play football no more because of the blood clots. I know you heard of that one. Um, <clears throat> it's just been a number of, of things I have seen, you know, and then with the offerings they giving, you know, people to um. To take the to take the jab, you know, it just don't make sense to me. You know, at the end of the day, it just it just don't make sense. It just 
it don't even sound right, you know. Right, so, right, right. Nay, it's for me with with the jab thing. I don't, you know, that's a sensitive subject. We really can't be talking about certain things, you know, like when Nick Cannon was talking <laughs> about certain things on this thing. That's why he, I guess, in the spotlight now. He talking about his kids and whatnot because at first he was saying that who the true people were on the earth, and you know, they got mad at him. They took his wilding out and all that. But yeah, the jab is a nay, you know. So right, right. That's okay. Where I'm at with it. All right, it looked like Black dropped off, but uh, let me try to get him back on here. Um, let me, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I'm always odd. I'm gonna say yay, and let me tell you why. Um, number n number three, it's the only way we can really get to so called herd immunity is if we if we all participate. It like there are a lot of diseases that have been defeated because we all got herd immunity uh, uh i want to say smallpox that was one of them um there there were a couple other diseases um uh can't think of them right now but there are a couple diseases out there that have been eradicated because of herd immunity the only way you're really going to defeat some of these uh diseases if you got that herd immunity uh number two i would say is because uh you know um it, it has been proven or i should say it has been tested safe by the fda now i know to a lot of people that might not mean a whole bunch but um i think that that's pretty important that the fda approved it and right now what they're trying to do is they're trying to approve uh they're trying to approve it the with CIA might as well approve it. Yeah, but they're trying to approve it with um kids uh five and to eleven right now. That's what they're trying to do. Yeah. yeah, they're trying to they're trying to get get the kids and and, and get the kids to jab, you know. Uh, but they're trying to make sure they trying agree to agree with that one. But they but they're trying to make it safe. They're trying to make it safe. So uh you know, that's why they are seeking some FDA approval first, you know, which is good. This, this is what they should be doing. Not like we were, I think we were in a rush before and that's why, um, you know, uh, it, um, it, it, it seemed like it was kind of a rush job, but, um, you know, it's FDA approved and, and that's my second reason. FBI approved. Um, and the number one reason is really because, look, if you get it, you just have a better chance of survival. The numbers have been, <laughs> wait a minute, the numbers have been dropping since, uh, you know, uh, since since the since it came out. The numbers were dropping until the, until we got the Delta variant and we got these other variants going on. So science got to keep up with that, but. Um, and, and they say, for the most part, you're still protected even with these other variants. But um, the numbers have been dropping, man. It, it, it clearly shows that uh, it was working. It clearly shows that it was working. So um, with that being said, I, I would say, yeah, I, you know, sometimes I think that people fear the cure more than they do the disease. And I think that... Um, that can just uh, let's not be so fearful. I, I fear is the most high. I don't fear nothing of that. None of not their disease, not their cure, their they remedy, they potion, they the antidote, fear, none of that. You fear the jab? I fear the most high. You fear the jab? I fear the most high. <laughs> okay, okay. But yeah, those are my reasons, man. I think that I think that um you know, a lot of people and look, have they always been on on uh, on point with a lot of these things? No, because a lot of times, especially when women were pregnant or whatever, they would get a jab and it would mess, uh, you know, the kids up. Some of them would come out with autism. Some of them come out with other ailments. And I and I and, you know especially with our community, we got to worry about, you know, Tuskegee experiments and stuff like that. 
and the trust in 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 and you know where we live i'll put it that way but um yeah, so but, but the go only ahead. ones that got the, the serpents going up that staff you know and we got to go to their place you know and have to have our babies and stuff trust them with our babies and things like that <laughs> the enemy yeah. dig that yeah man but you know it you know we live in this country look every country is 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 offering this Every country is offering this. Another thing I say is yeah, they're offering it. Another thing they're I offering. They another offering. This, this, they offer them, they pills as well. They, they they sell them every day on. They have commercials for them. They have a happy song with it, singing that song with they pills. But you know what? It has a side effect. At the end of the day, it got a side effect. It got a side effect. What's what's, what's the Worse side effect? The, the symptoms that you had. Yeah, it, it, it could lead to blindness. Of the uh, uh, internal bleeding, you know, all kind of crazy madness, you know, saying from the mad scientist or the, the the wicked wizard who made that potion. I don't know how that go. You know, that is just it don't make sense at the end of the day. Yeah, a lot of them do come with side effects, man. And and look, there there are some people who have some allergic reactions to it too. So I understand the caution that people are taking. I understand. I understand all of that. But I, at the end of the day, and, and Black, you missed this part, is I was saying that uh, in the past, it did create a herd immunity for some other type of diseases that we don't even think about anymore. I, I want to say smallpox, but I could be wrong. There were, there were a couple of diseases um, that have gotten eradicated through vaccines because everybody was immune to them. You know, so um, I just think that uh, for those reasons, I think that we should get it. Um, I will say first, check your with your doctor, check your 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 allergies, what you're allergic to. Uh, if you're allergic to, you know, nuts or shellfish or whatever the case may be, because there have been some allergic reactions. But overall, I think that. Uh, we should get it so we can get rid of this uh, disease. Any last words, Black? Well, yeah, I missed a, a little bit of it, but I will say that when you say herd immunity, what what you're you're alluding to the idea that there's a population, a large population, being herded towards something, and they're trying to sell you on the fact that it's immunity, but only animals are in the herd. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's the idea behind it. It's the idea that it's right in your face, but it's not obvious that I don't appreciate when I see other people falling victim to what I believe they're actually doing. You do know that. You do know that. You do know that antibodies don't last forever, too, though. You know that, right? What antibodies? When you when you get it and you get over it, you, your antibodies you have antibodies for a while, but they don't last forever. You know right, that, right? But they, what they do is they're they're there to fend off the initial you know situation, but then once that's over with, you're stronger. You're naturally stronger going forward, right? So then, if it reappears, you can fight that off just like you do everything else. And the old, the old jabs, this, those, I didn't believe in those either. Right? Uh-huh. But this one, this one is a precursor. This one is different. This is a, a game changer. And to the point that the whole world is changed because of this one. All but right. Because so of that, all right. So this one in particular. So l- let me get the thumbs black. Where you at? I'm not with it. You thumbs down. IB. You thumbs down. Definitely thumbs down. Okay, and I'm I'm thumbs up on a on a vaccine. Um, you know the you know the jury is out, but uh, BMR covered it covered it. Y'all heard it from us, um, and that's where we stand on it. Uh, click the link. Uh, subscribe and uh, we'll check y'all out in the next video. Peace.